Welcome to Purpose. I'm your host, Corey Clark. I'm just a normal girl who decided to go for it. I created a thriving business from the ground up without sacrificing my sanity, and I believe that you can do the same. You were created on purpose, for a purpose, and I fully believe you can turn that purpose into profit. Each week, I'm going to bring you practical advice to help you live your life and grow your business on purpose. Hi, friends. It's Corey Clark. I'm your host, and here we are, episode two. Now, give me a little grace because obviously I'm new at this whole thing, and I don't know how long I'm going to keep saying, like, welcome to the podcast. Oh my gosh, it's episode two, three, four. I don't know. I'm just figuring it out as I go. And like I said in episode one, you know, I talked about the procrastinating perfectionist. That's what I pretty much always am, but I've learned how to let things go. And you guys, I just have to like make this confession really quick. I recorded that episode and I seriously like had my finger on the mouse to delete it. And because I just was like, I don't know, I really didn't tell people who I was and oh my gosh, I didn't say this, I didn't say that. So I almost deleted it. But I'm telling you right here, right now, I did not delete it. I left it how it was because I'm like, girl, if you're going to be preaching to these people, you better practice what you preach. So episode one is episode one. It's staying there. And if you haven't listened, go ahead and listen. It's just quick and it's something I live by. And like I just said, I am living by it as much as I don't want to, I am. So um, I am just moving forward into episode two. And before I jump into what I want to discuss with you today, and I'm going to share a little bit more about myself and my family and that was actually the episode I deleted like a month ago because I was like, people don't want to sit and listen to me talk about myself for 20 minutes. So I just want it to happen more organically. And I still want you guys to know who I am and who my family is and why I am even doing this podcast in the first place. So I'll just be sharing bits and pieces with you guys each episode. But before we jump into today's topic, I wanted to let you know that the first week that this podcast is out, I am giving away two $50 Amazon gift cards and two $50 gift cards to my shop that you can use for the Purposeful Planner, for my book, for my declutter challenge, whatever you want. So I am doing this for people who leave a review on iTunes And if you screenshot your review and you share it on your Instagram and you tag me at Corey Clark, um, then you'll get two entries. And then if you just screenshot whichever episode you're listening to and tag me in it, um, I'm going to give you an extra entry. So go ahead and screenshot this episode, tag me in it, let me know what you're doing, Um, leave a review and screenshot that and tag me in it, share it on your Instagram stories and you'll be entered to win. So I'll have more specifics. If you go to my Instagram account, I will have a post about it once this is launched, and it will be up for one week. So anyways, I would greatly appreciate that. I'm really excited about doing this podcast, and I'm just excited to bring you new content every week to help inspire you to live more purposefully, to help you with your business, just to help you with your everyday life. So um, let's jump into today's topic. So I wanted to do something with my life. Like, I've been kind of feeling that way since 2008, but I'm not going to bore you with the long story. In 2014, I joined this online Facebook group with John Acuff. And I had no idea what this group was going to be, but it was all about starting something. And I had actually just started a blog Like the day before he sent out this cryptic message and asking people if they wanted to be in on this adventure. I had no clue what it was, but I just said, I'm in. I was feeling very brave because I had literally just published my first blog post the day before. And so I joined this crazy group and it was super fun. And we were just focusing on 
starting something. So mine was still my blog and I wanted to write and I really wanted to write a book. What I realized was in January 2014, John put together this 30-day challenge and we were supposed to work on something for I think 15 or 30 minutes a day. I, I can't remember the specifics, but we were supposed to work on that. And I realized like, gosh, if I don't get my act together, how am I ever going to be able to write or blog or serve the world or write a book, whatever it was that I felt like I was on the path to doing? So what I did in February, he did the challenge again, and I thought, you know what? I am going to focus on our life right now. I'm going to create some margin in our life so that I can actually do the things I've been called to do. So as much as I really wanted to just be pushing forward on my dreams, I knew that if I didn't get some things in place and create some margin in our life, I would never be able to do those things. I would never have the capacity to or the energy to or the time. So I set out on a journey to simplify our lives. And instead of giving our life some crazy wild overhaul over like a two-day period, I decided to take that whole month and I just worked on it 15 minutes at a time. I... I know for myself, when I go all in on something like gung-ho, it's easy for me to just end up giving up because that becomes overwhelming. So instead of doing this crazy thing, I spent 15 minutes a day simplifying our life. And I kind of just looked at our life before I started and gave us this assessment of, you know, what does our health look like? Like, how how are we living right now? What's our spiritual health like? What's our mental health like? What's our physical health like? And what do I actually want that to look like? What are some things I'm going to need to change to actually start being more healthy, more spiritually healthy, more physically healthy? And then I looked at our home. Okay, so what's our home life like right now? Like, we have a lot of clutter because we've got three kids and we live in a tiny little condo and, you know, so I knew we needed to get rid of some of the clutter. So just looking at our house and what do I want our house to look like? What do I want it to feel like? Like when people walk in, how do I want them to feel? And then I looked at our finances, you know, how can I better budget our money? How can we make some more money to give us some cushion? Like what can we cut out of our budget that we really don't need to be spending money on? And then I looked at our time, at our schedule. You know, what are some things that we're saying yes to that we really don't need to say yes to? And what are some things that we can cut out? And what are some things we want to be spending our time on that we're not because we're so busy? And so after I assessed those four areas of our lives, I decided to just create a little bit of margin in each area. Because what happens is if we're stretched too thin in one area, it actually starts to trickle into another area. So when you are stretched super thin on your time, well, that's going to bleed into your health because you're not going to have time to work out or maybe you're not sleeping enough or you're not taking time to, you know, get into the word in the morning or whatever it is that you want to do to feel your best. If your time is stretched too thin, then that means it's going to wear on your health. And, um, you know, so each area kind of bleeds into the next. But if we just create a little margin in each area, it actually creates enough cushion to where, you know, when you have to end up spending more time on something that you don't normally do, if you've created that cushion, it's not going to wear you down. It's not going to have to cause you to sacrifice your health or, you know, extra energy. So, so over those 28 days, I just really focused on those four key areas and making little changes. I started just getting rid of clutter and I didn't do a crazy overhaul that took me all day. I would just spend 15 minutes a day and fill up a bag. And, you know, from that, I ended up putting together the declutter challenge, which, you know, helps people declutter their home in six weeks. And, um, 
you know, I started really looking at our schedule and I started saying no to things. I started saying no to, you know, we were super involved at our church and we still are super involved at our church, but I I started just saying no to a few things and things at the kids' school. And I homeschool, but we are part of a charter and the kids go to school and a couple days a week. And, you know, I just said, I, I just can't. I can't be a yes girl to everything else or I'll never be able to say yes to the things that I really am dreaming of doing. So all of that to say is it really was just a matter of creating a little bit of margin in all of these areas. And it seriously changed our life. And one thing I like to say, um, and I, I've said it like, you know, if I like s- sign a note to someone or if they want me to sign their book is I'll say there are miracles in the margin. And I fully believe that because if your life is stretched too thin, then you're not leaving room for God to work his miracles. If you're the author of your days, if you have packed your schedule too thin, if you are burnt out and not taking care of your health, if you are spending all your money and not leaving a little extra to help someone, if you're the one who has created all of that, there's no room for God. And so that was my biggest motivator was I wanted to make sure that if God was calling me to do something, I actually had the capacity to do it. I had the energy to do it. I had the time to do it. I had the finance to do it. And so it's just been amazing to see that just doing a little bit in each of those areas actually created room for me to write my book, actually created room for me to create the planner. It gave me room in our finances to invest into creating that product. And it's just amazing what can happen when you just create a little bit of margin. So I wonder what that is for you. Like what part of of your life are you feeling super burnt out on? Like you are stretched to the max. And how can you just make a little shift, a little change to just create a little margin in that area? If you feel like you can't breathe in your own home because there is so much clutter, Like spend 15 minutes right now, grab a bag and fill it with stuff that you don't need. You don't need to spend four hours doing the Marie Kondo thing. Like just spend 15 minutes. That's all you need to do. If you feel like you're living paycheck to paycheck, is is there something you can do? Is like, is there a business you've been wanting to start? Is there a way you can make some more money? I'm a huge fan of actually creating more wealth instead of living in this, um, you know, budgeted, tiny little life. Obviously, like, yes, you do need to maybe cut some things out of your budget, but I don't want you to have that poverty mentality either. Um, you know, if your health, like, do you feel really crappy? Like, what can you do for 15 minutes today? Can you just go for a walk? Or can you get up 15 minutes early and spend some time praying or reading the Bible or meditating or whatever it is that you do to fill your soul? Because 15 minutes really isn't a lot. Like you really can do anything for 15 minutes. So I want you guys to just take a quick assessment of your life and figure out What are some ways that you can create some margin so that you can live the life that you've actually been longing to live? If you have a desire in your heart, it's because God put it there. It's because there is something he wants you to do with your life. So if your excuses have to do with not having enough time, not having enough energy, not having enough money, then maybe it's time to just take a step back, get a bird's eye view of your life and figure out where you can create that margin so that you can start walking in your purpose. Because I promise you it's not as hard as it seems. It's not as overwhelming as you think it is. It truly only requires very small changes. And when you do a small change in each of those four areas, it actually creates a big change in your overall life. And it will create a capacity that you didn't even realize that you already have in you. So my challenge for you this week is to sit down 
take an assessment of your life. Just look at those areas and ask yourself how you can be living in those areas better. Because if there's something that you're wanting to do, I want you to be able to do it. I want you to have the time to do it. I want you to have the energy to do it. I want you to be able to walk in your home and feel at peace because physical clutter equals mental clutter. And that's why I talk about the clutter is when there is stuff sitting around you, it it takes up space in your mind and you don't need that. I want you guys to be at peace in your homes. I want you to be at peace in your body. I want you to be able to feel like you are living out your purpose and like you actually have the capacity to do so. So go ahead, take that assessment, make some little changes. I want you guys to screenshot this episode and share it so that you can be entered in the contest. But I also want you to share what you're going to do. What are you going to do for 15 minutes today? to create some margin in your life. Let me know. I cannot wait to see. You can DM me on Instagram. I love to know what you guys are up to. And I can't wait to just keep bringing this kind of stuff to you guys to just help you make small changes so that you can live more purposefully, so that you can grow your business, you can bring in more profit, and you can impact the world around you. Just create a little bit of margin and watch what God can do. There are miracles in the margin. If you're ready to create margin in your life so you can live more purposefully, head on over to coreyclark.com slash two for a free download. That's just coreyclark.com slash the number two. And I've got a download there to help you just simplify your life and get you going on your journey to creating some margin in your life. Plus, you'll find all the info on a listener giveaway that is ending this week. So thanks so much, you guys, for listening, and I will see you in our next episode. 